Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about red flags to look out for when you are job searching. I have spoken about first videos about the red flags during interview, but this one is red flags during job search. You're probably looking for a job for many ways and you're probably watching a lot of YouTube channels a lot of YouTube videos in order to get a job that really going to help you find a job. But you have to feel that the job that you are applying for resonates with you. If the job doesn't align with your personal value, then you really should pass on it and not even go for an interview, not even applying for a job. I have applied for a job before thinking that this is what I expected the job to be, but at the end, it seemed to be something else. It didn't really align with my personal value. If you wanna check it out, check it out here. It will explain to you what exactly the journey I went through in order to find out that this is not the job that aligns with my personal value. When you search for a company, when you go to Indeed, for example, right? And you're searching and you're applying for a job, you submit your resume. Before you do that, search the company online. Read the reviews. What did people write about them? What type of reviews they have? They might have negative reputation, so you might want to avoid and not apply. There might be also a lack of transparency. That means that when you want to find out about the job, and there is not much information about it. Sometimes they just will write, for example, on Indeed, urgent hiring for this position, qualification, and that's it. There is no job description. There is nothing about the company bio. You want to avoid that. I would apply if needed be. And then when they call me, then I'll ask questions to find out if this is something I really want to schedule for an interview or if this is something that I want to not go to for an interview. When you go for an interview, let's say you are on time, but the manager is still not there. The manager is late 10, 20, 30 minutes. So that indicates the impression that I get from a manager like that is they don't respect your time. So if you are on time, the management has to be on time as well, because this is something that you should understand. When they want to interview you, you want to interview them as well. So it's like head to head kind of like thing. It's not only you looking for a job, they are looking also for a candidate who can fulfill a job because without employees, they don't have a company. Another red flag can be that the interviewer doesn't want to know anything about you. They just tell you the way the job is, the job description is and what to expect from you. And that's it. So that's a red flag. They need to know who they are hiring. They could be hiring anybody. Another red flag could be that they are not flexible with their offer. So let's say you want to have a certain schedule, you want to have a certain salary, and they're not flexible for an apparent reason, then that means they don't care about you and you're going to be miserable. And if you ask them how many people have already worked in your position and there's high turnover, that's a red flag. That means this job is not going to be a happy job. So I explain in more details in my podcast. The link is in the description about exactly what red flags to expect in more details. You sense strange illegal behavior. Whenever they talk about a job and you sense illegal behavior and you feel like it's not legal to do certain things, stay away you don't want to be involved in this type of company that might go down the drain the next one is you are bending backwards in order to satisfy the job but it's not what you want if you feel not comfortable then it's not for you it's not for you so there are plenty of jobs out there. This cannot be the only job for you that you can just get. If you really feel stuck and you want to get a job and you don't know and you're desperate, get my book. My ebook explains step by step how to start looking for a job and how you finally get a job. Step by step, I'm giving you resources. The link is in the description. There is also a resume log for you to actually track your success track your movement so you know exactly where you are at also you can join my candidate chat room thanks for watching this video i would love to invite you to be part of my community where you are a member as a candidate chat room upon joining you will receive tons of information you will receive templates ebooks 
products, tips, advice, strategies, and weekly emails where you can actually ace your interview, build your career from ground up, and get promoted as needed. You can also ask any questions that you want and I will be able to answer to my members first and then to my YouTube community. The link to join is in the description. I'm going to see you in the candidate chatroom forum.